what's your take on it? I know you've been really going all about it. Well, you know, for me, Shore is someone I've known for a long time and he's a strong comrade. I have to say, we as Nigerian people have to realize that Shore is a manifestation of our collective frustration. You know, this is a man that tried his, in his own way, no matter how right, wrong, wherever you want to stand, that he wanted to make something happen for the people of this country. And for me, that must we must give him all our support. You know, I generally feel that as motherland people, people like Shore, people that really have resources, we need to come together and train a bunch of people to go into all our communities and start conscientizing the people. Because for me, revolution is not only action. The real revolution is when we start dialoguing with our people you know we as the professionals of nigeria we continue to betray the interests of the common man of nigeria the majority of us who are left jobless poor i mean they say almost 70 percent of nigerians live on less than two dollars a day another 15 percent on less than a dollar a day you know and we as professionals we've not down tools once on their behalf say ah, ah this stuff away our people this stuff away. this no work Strike, eh, eh, except the increase for it will affect everybody. The NSC will call strike. They negotiate only for people with jobs, you know. There are only 3% or 4% of that are formerly employed in Nigeria. And then we move on, you know, forgetting every time the millions of us, you know. Because Nigeria, you know, like that day they say xenophobia, Nigerians were breaking into ni other Nigerian stores. Say, I can, like, the poor people know you are not their allies. They know you are allies of the rich. So the day they will rise up, they will definitely come after you. They will drag you out of your car. Definitely. They will beat you up. Because you have not for once in your entire existence that you have been able to secure some comfort for yourself, spoken up for them with the little power that you have. We've not decided to strike in this country because there's no light. Because poor people can't go to school. We've not strike. Because poor people can't go to good hospitals. We've not acted. We have done nothing. So for me, it is... For a man like Shore to want to carry all of us responsibility is what has led him to where he is today, you know. And if we continue to not support him, you know, he continues to show the masses of this country where we stand, you know. Because one day the mob will rise. What I'm trying to prevent is mob action. I want us to conscientize the people so that that energy can be directed towards the ending of oppression in our society. Not to replace oppressors, because when people rise up like that, they'll be the new oppressors, you know. So for me, that is what is relevant, you know, in this whole show, the lessons that we must learn and the things that we must take from it. You know, no, you know, we, we, we motherland people are children of sacrifice and to fail to pay that forward is not some kind of sharpness. No, it's just because you're a coward. You know, your sharpness is to disguise your cowardice. You know, you're, yeah, I'm doing, I'm just doing my job. <laughs> I think that's the most callous statement in our generation. I'm just doing my job. Excuse anything. You army man that you are suffering more than me, they'll send you to come and beat me. You think you come and beat me because you are just doing your job. <laughs> I'm telling you. But the, you know, the wrath is coming and I believe that we have to organize our people. We must dialogue with the people, I think. And that's the real revolution in Nigeria. If this government, since that the professionals are organizing themselves, not along the lines of wanting to be oppressors, but trying to elevate this country and end oppression, remove poverty from the life of our people. They see us in motion, they see us in rural communities, they see us going all to the 774 local government with our uh, policies in place, our solutions in place, you know because only socialism can save this country, going to articulate with dialogue with the people, not as their teachers. Everybody in this dialogue is a teacher and a student at the same time, you know? I mean, this is the motion. Many people want to enter the streets, you know? But that's just, that's easy to do and our problem can be solved easily. This is the real work, you know? So for me, that's what to take from Shoreshire.